there is a reason that I'm wearing this top. University of Nottingham. Graduate. 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 So it's about that time of year again when you've got your exam results and you've either gotten to university, in which case congratulations, you're about to have three of the better years of your life, I'm sure. Now, if you didn't get into the university that you wanted to, I'm really, really sorry. I know how hard that is. It happened to me and on results nights, instead of going out partying with my friends, I drove up to Nottingham from Bournemouth to have a look around because I have never been there and that was suddenly the university I was going to and I was fretting to no end. Anyway, this video is not about that. This is about those of you who are going to university and are super excited and maybe a bit nervous and you don't really know what the best thing to do is and I thought I would share with you, my lovely audience, my top five tips on your freshers year in general. Enjoy! Now my number one tip is very cliched and you've probably heard this from everybody you've asked about university and this is give everything a go. Now I'm not talking about going to Freshers Fair and signing up for haiku lessons and cupcake decorating and varsity boxing and everything in between. I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about in Freshers Week there's so many events on and you know there's some people who will go to everything and some people who won't go to anything but I would suggest you give everything in Freshers Week a try and yes there will be some super lame parties going on but it's all part of the fun. Chances are if you don't feel like a traffic light party is your kind of thing it probably isn't. However, there might be a group of people that you meet along the way who also don't think it's their cup of tea and boom, you've got friends. My top tip number two is keep an open mind about your housemates. Now, I was very blessed to be placed with one of my all-time best friends now, um, Hayley, as I think I mentioned her on this channel before. I don't know what that was. Anyway, my story here is when she first met me, she thought I was a massive snob. And I'm really, really not. I'm just super shy and I was just really overwhelmed by the entire day because we'd had an awful ordeal moving in, which is another story to tell. But anyway, so she got to know me and she realised that I was just overwhelmed and then we ended up being like best buds. Don't write anyone off on your first impressions because chances are they're going to be just as nervous as you are, uh, maybe more so you don't know whether their car broke down on the way or I don't know, their pet fish died in the car. Basically, you don't know them and first impressions are always important in most scenarios but freshers is such an intense, life-changing, monumental period of time. People's personalities come across differently and just give it a bit of time to get to know them before you kind of write them off or even say that they're your best friend, you know, swings and roundabouts and all that. Another top tip of mine is to get involved. And I know earlier I said don't join every society in Freshers' Fair, but I would suggest, I'd really suggest actually that you join a few. I joined Rowing Society in my second year and I really wish I'd done it in my first year because it was so much fun and I made some amazing friends and um, yeah, it also probably would have given me a better chance of getting into the team because my first year was before Olympics and I joined after the Olympics and we had something like 40 people for a 12 people team. Uh, yeah, I didn't get in. <laughs> but anyway, get involved. If there's something you've always wanted to try and never really had the guts, just do it because there's so many sports I wish I'd tried out because I'm not a naturally sporty person so I figured if I'd started them in Freshers Week and then committed I'd probably be a pro by now. But also, in getting involved, I joined the Fashion Society in first year and this leads me wonderfully into my fourth top tip and that is don't be afraid of letting people go that you met in your first week after three months. Anyone who has been to university will probably tell you about Fresh's friends. You either realise you don't like them, they realise they don't like you, or just it becomes really awkward because you were only ever hanging out drunk and then and then you have like the rest of your life and it's just really weird. Now I met this girl in the fashion society uh, Fresh's party thing and you know she seemed really nice, she was really friendly, bubbly, uh, we got on well it would seem. Um, as the weeks went on, she became very possessive, almost like some kind of weird possessive boyfriend and she ended up trying to move my flatmate who she'd never met's birthday party to her flat 
because apparently there was more space. She wasn't even invited to the party. Anyway, I let that friendship go on for far too long and I ended up just not replying to her, which is not a very nice thing to do and I wouldn't recommend you do that. But yeah, I should have just been honest with myself that I knew she wasn't the kind of person that I wanted to be friends with. Like from the first couple of weeks, I knew this. What I am trying to say is once you have got to know someone, there is no rule which says you still have to be friends with them just because you spent a couple of weeks together at the beginning of term or, you know, they're the only person in your society that you know. You've got to be true to how you feel about someone. Like, it's not hard when you say it like that, but it does become quite hard and difficult and it just makes things awkward. So, that is my beautiful tip for you. And my final amazing university life-changing tip is kind of not to do with university. Keep your old friends. Now there is the temptation to go to university, cut off all contact with the outside world, just be in your bubble and ignore your 70 texts from Jimmy and I don't know anyone called Jimmy, I wonder why that came into my head. Keep your friends from home because when you go back for Christmas and Easter and half term and summer and all the other half of the year that you're not at university, they're going to be around and they're still your friends and they're going to be your social life and they're going to be there for your birthdays and for Christmas and just the summer in general. Like there is no point in cutting them off. Me and my friends uh, from home are pretty damn close and we always kind of have been we, but I think we've got closer since we've all gone to university. Basically your friends from home you've known for years and there might be one or two that are just friends of convenience but for the majority they are truly your friends and it's great to make a whole group of new friends and I always think you should kind of try and mix the two whenever possible but you spend half the year at uni but you also spend half the year at home so don't be quick to cut them out because I know friends who tried to cut their friends out or just got rid of the contact really and they went home and were miserable or they'd constantly complain about their friends from home and that's just that's just sad I think so anyway those are my five tips. I really hope they are helpful. Um, they might sound a bit cliche and they might sound like just, oh, get involved, oh, give everything a go. But if you actually do those things, you're going to have a much better time at uni than if you just sit in your home on YouTube or talking into a camera as I started to do at uni. <gasps> no, I had a great time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you are fancying it and I will see you really soon. My other top tip is buy lots of merch.